sketch graphs of each polynomial functions. I am Anil Kumar and in this video I will explain you how to sketch a graph of a polynomial function. Now we are making a sketch, we are not doing it on a graph paper but it is fairly accurate. First question is we need to sketch a cubic function leading coefficient is negative zeros of minus 2 has multiplicity of 1 zeros of 3 has multiplicity of 2 so there are two zeros right one is linear the other one is quadratic so to sketch let's begin by drawing x and y axis right so so there's less space so I'm just squeezing in the solution first thing is a cubic function so it's a cubic function leading coefficient is negative when we say leading coefficient is negative what kind of end behavior do we expect negative means right side down right side down so it has to go down this side right and since it's a cubic or degree function they will be on opposite ends so that's the kind of end behavior so leading coefficient gives us the end behavior now let's look into the zeros 0 of minus 2 has multiplicity of 1 that means minus 2 let us say this is minus 2 for us right when we say multiplicity is 1 it means it is a linear 0 so the graph will cross like a line at this point right then we have 0 at 3 multiplicity of 2 so let us say this is 3 for us and at this point 3 the multiplicity is 2 that means it behaves like a quadratic function so it has to turn do you understand so that is how we should analyze the zeros for the given function now that helps us to sketch the graph uh, y intercept is not given to us in this particular question and so we'll not really bother about it so there could be many functions which will meet this criteria so what we'll do is we can actually start from anywhere so let's go from left to right so it's a line which comes like this a smooth curve bending over and then turning right so a polynomial function you should remember should be smooth and continuous right so we have tried to make as smooth as possible second important thing is be careful about labeling right so especially the zeros as has been mentioned so that is your x and y axis now zeros you can see at minus 2 multiplicity 1 means a linear 0 straight line 0 3 has multiplicity 2 a quadratic 0 so it will turn like a parabola right leading coefficient negative means end behavior right so negative leading coefficient means what as x approaches negative infinity y approaches positive infinity as x approaches positive infinity y approaches negative infinity i use the term leading coefficient is negative means right side down that means right side down and cubic means odd degree right so this odd means opposite ends this is because the degree is odd this is because degree is odd right so that helps so another example very similar to one we had it says quintic function leading coefficient is negative quinting is odd degree do you understand leading coefficient negative means if you see your graph right leading coefficient negative means right side down odd means opposite ends so that is the end behavior which you should mark right now let's just sketch it as we did last time okay so here what do we have we have quintic leading coefficient negative zeros at plus minus 3 has multiplicity of 2 so there are these two zeros let us say th this is my minus 3 this is plus 3 but they are multiplicity 2 then 0 of 0 has 1 so there is one zero here also 
OHS1. End behavior we know we have to move from this direction and end there. Do you understand? When we say multiplicity is 2, that means our graph will turn, right? So there's a turning point, bounces back. Here it has to go like a line and here it has to turn and it makes sense it is going in the direction we want it, right? Now this helps to sketch the graph. So what we can do is we can join our point as I've shown you here, right? So we have this kind of like this. Is it okay? Correct. And on this side, let's continue. So that becomes the graph or, of our function. I hope the points are absolutely clear. So when we are talking about odd degree function, opposite ends is the end behavior. Leading coefficient negative means right side down. And multiplicity means linear straight line. Even means bounces like a parabola. I should, I think that should help. Thank you and all the best.